Here is the place, the place where we met one day. Here is where you wrestled with your thoughts, with your self-sufficiency, with your pride, with your doubts. Here is where you walked into the wind, the harsh sun making the hues indistinguishable. Here is where all your self-reliance produced nothing but rubbish. Here is where I nudged you to turn, to walk along the river at the pace of the current. Movement that runs deep, but not hurried. Here is where I whisper, join me, a current of great works that is ever moving, not stagnant, that is soul satisfying. Here is the rock I lead you to stand in. It is surrounded by water, but is firm. I ask you to surrender. Here is where I begin to create. I create color and light and depth and focus. You cannot see in the moment, but I do. And in the midst of creating and doing, I whisper into your depths, I am sufficient. And I invite you to participate. Click. A couple of years ago, I was given the task to create some large pieces of art for the New Walden Church. These pieces were to serve as artwork that filled the large spaces, but more importantly, was to speak truth and symbolism to the body. I was excited to stretch my photography to try something new and meaningful, but really didn't have a clue as to where to start. As the weeks moved on and inspiration came and went, I began to be filled with incredible doubt at my ability to make anything. I doubted myself as an artist. I doubted my ability to find deep connection with art. I was not qualified for this task. And then somewhere along the line, the doubt shifted and it began to fade. I think I had a few successes with some of the work I was doing for clients, was filled with much desired praise for the work I had created. And I began to think, what if this art is good? Like really good. I knew my prideful nature would just soak it all up. And I actually began to fear my pride more than my doubt. Funny how Satan works. One evening after coming in from a walk with my kids, I felt a nudging to go down to the river in Cranston. I had been there a few weeks earlier for a previous shoot, and a friend had spoken some pretty powerful words over me, making it feel like a sacred space in some way. I didn't have any idea of what I was gonna shoot, so I just began walking. But the inner battle of doubt and frustration began. Everything I was trying to shoot was terrible. It felt so forced, the light was harsh, the colors were flat, the wind was irritating, even the thistles were driving me crazy. And then there was another nudging, to turn around, to walk along the river. And as I walked, the pace felt synchronized with the current. I was filled with such a sense of the Lord's presence, much more palpable than I had ever really experienced. Though not audible, there was a still small voice that called me to join his current, to do his work at his pace. I arrived at a rock that was just off the bank and was nudged to step out onto it. It was no bigger than my two feet put together and I felt rather uncertain standing on it with all the water flowing around. But he nudged me to put my camera to the surface of the water and to start shooting. But there was no way to look through the viewfinder to see what I was photographing. And so I just shot, completely blind. Click, click. I had no idea what was being photographed and kind of laughed at the absurdity of it all. But then, he gently whispered, I am the master artist, let me create. So I prayed sort of a Jesus take the wheel kind of prayer and continued shooting. Water, so thirst quenching, so deep, so active, so essential. Five minutes later, it clouded over and there was a sense that whatever that was, was over. I got home not knowing what to expect, but being expectant of something. As the photos loaded, I was in awe of what he had done. The light, the movement of the water, the colors, the fine balance between abstract and realism, the richness of symbolism, not a single image needed editing. And here I was, so concerned about my own doubt and pride, and he just eliminated all of that because it wasn't about me. It was about him and his glory and his artistry his invitation for us to join in his great works and his promises of sufficiency. As I look at these canvases, I see the personal encounter I had with the great artist, but I also see how his masterpiece of creation speaks truth and promise into all of us.